Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial here from Out of the Park Developments. My name is Alex Murray, I'm the Technical Support Manager. Um, today I'm going to be covering a topic that has been asked about quite recently by a couple different individuals, and this is going to be covering the option of transferring your saved games from a computer to another one. A lot of people have been upgrading their devices, buying new computers as we've gotten through this season and this year, and a lot of people have started to question how can they keep their saves if they are changing their computers and there's a couple different ways you can go about doing that normally it's going to be one of two ways one is going to be physical transferring of your files and the other is going to be cloud transferring or um, not so much physical virtual transferring at that point um, i'm going to start by saying that it's very much uh, easier to do the virtual cloud-based transferring it's simple and easy to be able to work with that's what i personally use but i will show and demonstrate all the different ways we can do it just so that way you guys can see every different possibility now for most users who have Google accounts or even iCloud accounts or Apple accounts, um, you're given free storage, online cloud storage that you can use to store pictures or documents or videos or anything you want. I use it uh, for not only for work, but also for per personal stuff. And I use it to be able to transfer saved games between myself and anybody else that I'm trying to share it with. Or even if I just wanted to be able to transfer between computers, I would use my Google Drive. Um, and that's how I typically will do it. And I will get, uh, you, most users will get a certain amount of storage for free. So if you do want to do the virtual cloud-based systems, most of the Google and I, uh, iCloud, which is Apple, uh, versions of accounts will give you a certain amount of storage for free that you can use, and we'll talk about that later. For physical storage, where you have two computers directly in front of you and you just want to be able to quickly transfer it from one to the other, or if you have bad internet, there is a way to be able to do that with the physical transferring. Usually, it comes in three different ways. Either an external hard drive is what you'll be using, more commonly, a flash drive, or if you want to be weird, like me sometimes, you can use an SD card, some kind of a flash memory chip or some kind of like that. Now, if you do those memory chips, you do need to make sure you've got a card reader to be able to read those. But basically, most people will just simply transfer their files onto something such as a flash drive. Now, finding those files is going to be the hardest part, but it's also the easiest part because we make it easy on you guys. All you have to be able to do is go to your out of the park develop or out of park 22 game and if you go to settings on the main menu you can go to troubleshooting which is the last tab on the settings area and click on the open folder containing saved games this will bring up all of your saved games exactly where they are located this will be a very important thing to remember and then once you simply find the save that you want to transfer over let's just say i wanted to do the desert dreaming one all you have to do is copy it straight to your flash drive. Let me go ahead and plug that guy back in for a quick second. Yep, of course Google's gonna want me to do something about that, but not right now, please. You can even see it popped up on my screen as well. So you can literally just drag and drop it straight over if you wanted to. That might take a little bit of time, but you can copy it straight to your flash drive. And as soon as that's finished, this one's I think a slow one, unfortunately. Once that is finished, you'd be able to simply plug the flash drive into your new computer and then copy it back to the new saved games location. So you will rinse and repeat the earlier steps, going back into your game on the new computer, going it up into, going to the main menu, clicking on settings, going to troubleshooting, open folder containing saved games, and pasting what we just copied to the flash drive directly to that saved games location. That's literally all you have to do. Now, if you do it via the cloud system, if you do it the way that I do it, Here's how I process that through. What I traditionally will do is I will take the save that I want to transfer to a different computer or send to somebody else. Now, these folders have tons and tons of files. As you can see, there are 47,000 files in our Desert Dreaming save alone. That is a lot. Um, and when you have to do an upload to the cloud, it takes a long time. So usually, when I do a cloud upload, what I'm going to do in process instead is I put it into a zip folder. I put my save into a zip folder, and that speeds up the process of sending it to the cloud. Now, the problem is, and this is the one thing that I want to troubleshoot and make sure you guys are aware of. If you zip your folder or if you get a save file that is a zipped folder, you will want to make sure, let me go ahead and Pull this off screen for a second so you guys don't see what I'm going to be getting into here. 
just because I don't want to show you guys everything that I do. When you do zipped folders, they will come in like this. Here we go. I'm going to show you this now. So this is what I traditionally will upload to the cloud. I'll upload a desertdreaming.lg.zip, and it's basically a compressed zip folder of the save. You can't put the zip directly into the save games, unzip it, and have it work. Because inside of a zip is the exact same folder. I can have it go ahead and load up here in a second. We'll be able to show it. We'll show that off here in a second. But basically, when you have a zip folder, usually, oh, I have it right here. Duh. When you do that, normally there is another identical folder directly inside of your zipped folder with the exact same name. See, as you can see on screen, same exact thing. If you unzip your zip folder, you will have duplicates of the exact same folder and OOTP will not find it. So you will want to make sure that the furthest .lg folder, the one that I just have on screen right here, that is what you want to extract out of your zip folder. All right? As long as you guys do that, put it into your saved games on your new computer, your games will transfer, everything will come across, and you can keep playing any save you've been playing on previous computers.